Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms out here in Oregon at Thunder Ranch. Of course, this is Clint Smith's facility, and you guys may have remembered that we partnered up with Century Arms and Clint Smith here at Thunder Ranch to give away the Thunder Ranch edition Vishka. And you might not recognize this guy, but he's a rare breed, and they do exist. He's the winner of that contest. So, Ben, congratulations, hey, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate absolutely, it. dude. So, are you excited to be out here? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah? yeah. And so, have you run AKs before? Or? Very little. Very, Very little? Yeah. And, and I got to ask you this, because I know it's going to be like the number one question. How many entries did you have? I believe I did the bare minimum. I know that my wife, she did the uh, uh, extra referral entries. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, basically it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not lying when I say just one, honestly, is, is all it takes. Um, uh, well, congratulations. Uh, what are you looking forward to kind of getting out of all this? Uh, just having this experience with Clint Smith at yeah. the ranch. Dude, I, I feel you on that. Absolutely. Because uh, I, you know, I've run all sorts of different guns and everything else, but as far as taking like a specific class for like the AK platform, haven't done that. So excited to do that. We're going to be learning a lot about the uh, the Vishka, the Thunder Ranch model. We're going to be learning a lot about AKs in general. We're going to be learning all sorts of different methods that maybe I don't even know about. But uh, Clint Smith, uh, he likes to say, you know, hey, the AK is a pretty good, uh, good, good firearm. And on top of that, he's been shot by one, has shot, has been shooting one by about 50 years. So with that experience, he says it's a pretty good cartridge too. So, but anyway, uh, I say let's head down range, let's get kitted up and let's go shoot some AKs, man. Sounds good. Congratulations right. again, Ben. Thank you, appreciate you got it. it. Mm -hmm. This is a relatively permanent damage when you get hit with one of these, okay? On, on, off, off, okay? We're gonna talk about the gun, talk about gun handling, then we're gonna go out here, and I'm telling you right up front without being like bashful about it, we're gonna coon finger the guns for a little while, manipulate them, okay? Rack them, slack them, figure out how I'm gonna do it, okay? For the Nord Peeper, Miss Ava, and so on, okay? We need for you to figure out how you think is most efficient for you. I don't technically consider it be a wrong or a right way. He'll show you a couple different options. I think you should pick the one that that works the best for you and then i think you should be constant in that type of application cool cool so um slings uh first and foremost the sling is used for carriage of the rifle and for stabilization if i need it right so most of the time it's going to end up right here if i'm not carrying the rifle if i'm like using the rifle i like this position because it allows me to manipulate the rifle in whatever space i need to right and it doesn't get tangled up and stuff like that the other problem if you're running it really tight in here like this and you're using it for kind of stabilization when i go to manipulate the magazines i'm no longer in control of the muzzle so if i go into a reload or something i'm not trying to give it a huge rock i just put it in with enough forward attitude that i can then rock it back in think of the commonalities between guns across platforms like m1a same kind of thing right uh, a lot of the the foreign like eastern block type stuff is all going to be some sort of a paddle at the bottom releasing the paddle gets the magazine out so there's no button or anything like that so i have to actually physically press the paddle forward and then release the magazine okay and we'll talk about a different kind of uh different load options and stuff like that as we go along but for right now again on the loading process I can chamber check it. I don't have to take the safety off in order to do that. So I can chamber check it here, push my thumb in it. I don't care how you do it, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it goes back in the battery and you understand that's a problem. Then as far as the safety, again, I can run the safety, or I'm sorry, the uh, charging handle as much as I want without the safety in the fire mode, it's never gonna go back. So I need to make sure all of them have a locking tab or a little extended tab, I believe. Most of them in the wild that you find are not going to. So when I'm running the AK, I run my fingers forward like this, right? So I can just sweep the safety down like that. Cause a lot of them take a little extra effort to get the gun going, right? Or to get the safety off. There's stuff that you can do, but if you pick the gun up and don't know, a lot of downward pressure on the safety will get it back into that fire mode. Cool. Okay. So make sure you got your ears on, just take them and stick them around your leg or someplace. If you're bending over to get stuff, okay, watch your muzzle. Then go ahead. And everybody go ahead and make a line right here. Come on, let's go. Now look at the knots, line your sight up properly. Okay? Yep. So that blade goes in that notch. That post, the puzzle comes up, safety comes off. Ready? Ah, oh, safety off. Help the boss. Touch the trigger. Move through it carefully. Try not to make it fire. Then when it feels firm, press it. Yeah, leave the rifle there and run the charging handle. I'm going to give you command of up. As the gun comes up, the safety comes off. They're not loaded. I want you to go ahead and acquire the sight. Press the trigger. When it goes click, okay, I want you to pull the mag out. 
Tap your leg. Put the mag back in. Charge it. What are we practicing? Reload. Opening the gun, Mr. Clant. I ready. Ah. Oh. Stop. Crap. Gun's empty. Mag out. Pump your leg. Put it back in. Cycle the action to load the gun. Good, Amen. That's exactly what I tell you. Don't shoot until I tell you. Stand by. Ready? Ah. Oh. Safety should be off. Look. You should be looking at the front sight. Put it on your mark. See how carefully you can press the trigger to the rear. Press. Good. Now come off target, off trigger. When you come down, after you look around and check on your partner, put the safety on. Safety on, Drew. Safety okay, on, remember Rich. people, it's, you're fighting. Throw a punch, get a punch. Put the safety on. Set the rifle on the ground carefully with the muzzle pointed down range. Safety up. Okay, like we said, show hands. Okay, now I want you to go load magazines, including the empty one. Get them loaded now. I want everybody to drink water now, whether you want it or not. So what are your thoughts so far? Getting the fundamentals, the basics. Yeah. Learning how weak you are and Super important. fatigued as you start to so, hold that rifle out. Dude, look what's going on in my arm already. <laughs> it's only been like three minutes into class and I'm already like on the struggle bus. You don't need this elbow one's... pads or knee pads or anything. Just I bang them take, up. Yeah, I'm taking them off right now. Just bang them up. And also my left arm, my support hand is definitely already, it's like shaking. I'm like, I definitely feel that muscle fatigue. Which tells me, once again, gotta hit the gym. We know, okay? I gained 30 pounds. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yes, physical fitness is a big deal when it comes to your shooting sports. Yeah. Go to the gym. Mm. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else uh, about this? Yeah. Oh, basic, simple stuff. You know, it, one thing that I'm learning is I got in such a habit of flipping the safety off as soon as I'm done shooting. Yeah. You know, and that's something I know that I needed to be working on when we went to Fort Scott and we did the training course out there. It's just because it's so intuitive. Yeah. It's like, hey. The it, minute it, you lift it up, safety off, and then it goes back down, safety. Safety on. Yeah. And then, but it's like, okay, what about the other threats? You know, he's yeah. like, okay, cool. You're going to be a well-handled and safe dead guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so, also notice how I was like, yeah, safety on, safety off. Like I'm using it as if I'm using an AR. Mm. Clearly already that's not, you know. Yeah. Because I'm just, I'm, I don't have that much experience with AKs, so yeah. I'm excited to learn this. Oh, I am and too. And like get a little more proficient with it. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's gonna be a lot of good. I think oh, we're gonna, gonna be so tactical after this. Going to be? I mean, okay, whatever. By the way, I want my water back. <laughs> recoil management's a huge thing. Again, if I bring it up and I'm not managing the recoil very well when I fire, the gun, it's gonna push me the f around. Yeah. Okay. I don't want that. So all I need to do is get forward attitude into the gun. I lock my hips in, so hips index towards the target. When I come up, I bring the gun up, the safety comes up, right? And then it's there, okay? And it didn't push me around at all, right? The muzzle stayed flat the entire time. So it's just a matter of your hips, you're just locking. It's a matter of forward attitude on the gun, and I, I personally lock my hips in to, to prevent any of that movement, okay? Then the reload process, I don't care how it goes, I, if, if you have a uh, issue holding the gun out here or accessing the magazine well, I merely bring the, the rifle back here, drop the old mag out, put the new magazine in, rack the gun, and then come back up. Okay, once again, I'm gonna fire the gun when I come up. So watch, watch the muzzle as it stays flat. And again, I'm just locking my body in behind the gun. I'm here, body locked in behind. Stays pretty flat. Okay, make sense to everybody? Yeah. If I don't do that, watch my toes. The whole body's moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want that. Lock your shit in. Okay, many points of contact on, on the gun as you can. Pull hard into your shoulder. This actually provides like a shelf, but I'm pulling with this arm as well because I can. If that arm wasn't there, I would just hold the gun this way with enough pressure rearward to hold it there without moving it. Okay, cool, cool? Yes, sir. All right, let's go back online. We're shooting the berm again, we're shooting the berm again. Think about manipulating your body to lock it in so the gun doesn't move. Body weight behind the gun, forward attitude. Like Clint said, I'm gonna either take a punch or I'm gonna throw a punch. Am I number one or two? Shooting the berm. Shooting the oh, berm. Okay. okay. Go to ready. Three round drill. Stand by, up. When the gun comes up, the safety comes off. You're good to shoot.
Good. Go back into ready. Put Think about leverage. So you need to move the gun. You need to move your eyes. Okay. Three round Even drill. Three round drill. Targets. We'd move our Go eyes ready. first in the gun. Stand by. Up. Okay. Body weight behind the gun. Good. You're good to fire. Don't be in a hurry to put the safety on. All right. So look around now. And without looking at your partner, ask him if they're okay. You know what his name is? So Clint, are you okay? Yeah. Doing good. Yeah, yeah, good. Good. Go panty good. on outdoor good. voice. Okay. okay. Right. Adam, are you good? Yeah. On safe, finger straight. On safe, finger straight. You might need a phone to go I'm going to yell at you, Clint. Yell at me, girl. Yeah. Yell at me. I'm like, yo, boy, you good? Yeah. I'm so good. You're, on, right? you're going to talk to more people than you're going to shoot. So unscrew yourself on that. It's also the triad. Communications. Movement to contact. Movement to break contact. Ready. Three round drill. Three round drill. Don't unplug. Stand by. Up. Hey, so how you doing? Good. 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 Yep. Good. Way to stay plugged in. What I want you to do now is the rifle's unloaded. We will go to the appropriate barricade. One to one. One to two. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay. And then what I want you to do is I need for you to figure out what's going to work best for you. Knee pads, set down, I don't care. I need you to get as stable as you can. Come back a little bit. We're not going to shoot you, but it's really bad for business. Okay? <laughs> Clear. Okay, we're not firing. I want you to look. What we're looking for is stability, okay? I am not, do not, would not advocate you extend the muzzle beyond something. You don't know what's on the other side. I am walking down a hallway. There's this bad guy across the room. I stick the rifle muzzle into the room. Wolves travel in packs, okay? So I don't know that the right and left is clear. I'd need to stay outside in the hallway. Maybe even back up. There's a thought, okay? And then like slice it off. So whatever it takes, he kind of good at kneeling like this and double kneeling. Okay, he's got it here. You'll notice that he uses his left hand to support the back of the rifle. You're not gonna get any more solid than the wall attached to the ground, attached to the galaxy, attached to the plant. You got it, okay? All right. So we can fire? Yep, yep. you're good. Going hot. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out where exactly my point of impact is. I know I was hitting high left before, so I tried to bring that down just a little bit. And so now I'm shooting, maybe I compensated a, a little bit. I'm not mad about it though. I could tighten it up a little bit more, but it's just iron sights. Just having fun. Move into position. Once you're there, you clear for five rounds. Sighted fire on the center diamond. I wanted you to manipulate the safety, get used to it. When I, just like Clint said, when I come from here, from now on, I want you to keep the safety off in the fire mode. Look around, talk to your partner, just like Clint just said, standing. He says, stand. Stand! Cool. Then Jack, I keep stand. my finger straight. I've looked around already. I collapse the gun back down here. I stand back up and I check, right? As soon as I get up. Then when one of the three things, I didn't need to shoot anybody else, I didn't need to help anybody else, I didn't need a better position to cover, then I can put the freaking safety selector back on. Cool? Come here, everybody right quick. Okay, thank you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on. So for me and us and what we do here, Jack and I, okay, is we think of the tactics like you're here in prone. That's the first layer of a chocolate cake. Clear that layer of ground. That's your bottom layer, clear it, because I'm in prone. Then. I tell my partner I'm coming up because I don't want to all both stand up at the same time. We come to the middle layer of chocolate cake. We clear that. 
Then I go all stand, okay? And that's a question. He'll say stand, that means he's covering both of our targets. Then I'm selling clear. And then once I'm up and okay, and not shot full of holes, then I'll tell him to stand up, mm -hmm. okay? Everybody got it? Yes, sir. So think of the tactics, right? There. And if you all laid on the ground right now, I'm telling you, you won't be able to see past that log in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. But when you come to kneeling, you will. When you come to standing, you see more of it, okay? Think of it in your house. Two people go, oh, you mean like in the field? No, I mean like in your house, looking around furniture, over furniture, under furniture, all that stuff, right? Good, go down there right quick, let's go. Okay, that, that's showing some good consistency, good shooting. What? So now when we go back, I might shoot it really quick just to check because we may need to bring this up now. Where, where is your hold right here still? So now if you look at the offset that we are already identified as a problem at 25 yards, it's going to be there. So you may have a slight variable where you need to come up on it, right? Put it ready, finger straight, safety on. I want the safety on because I want you to practice taking it off right now while you're there. Check your body weight. Are you aggressive behind the gun? Think ban at the son of a bitch. Don't think shoot him. Get your ass behind the gun. Okay? Now, you gotta remember the AK safety, how it works, what's going on. Okay, square the gun up to the target. Which one's yours, girlfriend? This that one? one. This one? Okay, good. Then step over here in front of that. Okay. Good. Awesome. Okay? So, it'd be a real simple command. I'll give you a command of up, UP. On the up command, as the gun comes up, the safety comes off, you go on the target and hit him two times in the middle. Then get a third sight picture. Two round center, tell your partner, two round center. Two, two round, round center. center. Two round Stand center. by, firing drill, ready, up. Come on, Julie. You got it. Now, off the trigger, don't worry about the safety. Look around, find an orange box at one o'clock. Okay, good. All right, Jim, you good? your safety good. on. Tell good. your partner now. Good. Good. Safety, safety on. on. Safety on. Safety on. Okay, good. Go to ready. Go to ready. On the right command. As you step right, gun comes up, safety comes off. Stand by. Three round center. Ready? Verbal ready. compliance. Ready. Big verbal. Ready? Ready. Right. ready. Stop. Right. Step right, step right. Stop. Don't unplug. Why is your rifle down? At most, it should be pointed at the bottom of the target frame. It shouldn't be pointed at your feet. Good. Once you're okay, Good. safety, safety on. on. Safety on. Yep. Adam, load. Safety Make ready. On. Go to ready. Do a flyer back. Damn it. Three rounds. Stand by. Ready? Ready. Left. Left. Don't unplug. Don't unplug. Don't unplug. Don't melt. How you doing? At the most, they'll be on Good. the ground. Good. Right at the base of the target. Your rifle should be no lower than that. Good, safety on, go to ready. Just as a reminder, uh, get that freaking cheek weld. Like with the AK, if you don't have a cheek weld, you're not gonna have a sight picture, right? Unless you have one of these cantilever things on it. So that's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna uh, keep me from getting beat up in my shoulder and pec area. And two, it's gonna allow me to actually have freaking sights on the target, right? So the other thing, when, when we talk about movement on the line, I'm seeing a lot of this where dudes are like going shh, 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 shh. and I'm like, dude, I only need one step. I just yeah. need a big step out of the way I, I and bring the gun up. Okay. So Clear. it's positive, it's in balance and it's, a, and it's an athletic type movement, right? Same thing to the right. If I'm here, I bring the gun up, safety comes off as it comes up during the step process, right? And we'll talk about forward movement. It's unlikely you would have to take one single forward step, but you may have to, to step over something, clear some cover, some obstacle, or something like that, right? So if I have to step forward, I'm here in my normal position, I would merely take a step forward, bring the gun up, safety comes off as it does, okay? If I need to take a step back, and so where people get messed up is if I come from here, this, this normal stance, they'll do this. That's two yeah. steps, right? I just need one step. It's not a step drag, it's nothing other than an athletic movement forward as I bring the gun up, safety comes off. Same thing backwards. Backwards, I'm here, gun comes up, safety comes off. All right, finger goes to the trigger. So again, same kind of thing, people will come here out of balance, and if we're firing while we're doing that, that's problematic, right? Because I'm no longer in balance. All right, maintain this athletic stance. So you could say big step, little step, or you could say step for distance and reset for platform, which is like what we say. So I'm just getting getting some space between me and the problem and setting up for the shot. Okay, back in that normal like shooting stance and posture.
Yeah, one back. step only back. Big step, little step. Four step for distance, three step for platform. The back foot moves first. Okay, stepping back. The command will be back. When I step back, I bring the gun up. The safety comes up and deliver three rounds center. Three rounds center. Three rounds center. Right, ready? Ready. ready. Stand by. Back. You good? Good. Are you good? Good. 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 Safety on. Straight, safety on. Dress the line. Look left and right. Nobody should be before or after anybody else. Good. Back! Good. Good, good, good. good. I got freaking hair or a thing stuck in my hair. Drop it. Oh. The AK is my least favorite to shoot from prone. That's good. Right, it's it's not that awesome. This it has a little bit more recoil, so I need to manage it a little bit better. Um, the cheek weld stuff still still factors in, right? So if I try to swim down or try to go down to the ground with my sling tight like this, what's the problem? Like it, it's very hard to do. So I swim out of my sling. Okay, so I'm on the ground. A couple different things, Clint. You want to talk him through the yeah. same thing? So if you look at his left hand, his left hand should be a shelf. This is in your handout. What we talked about. Left hand's a shelf, not a vice. Okay, think about it. It's a shelf, not a vice. All of you remember when you shot your pistols and I told you about going low left with both hands on the gun, there's a tendency to push it historically called a pre-ignition push. Okay, you have enough rearward pressure with the right hand that if he took his left hand out of the way, okay, the rifle would still stay in place. Okay, he may have used a bipod in a while or a monopod, okay, whatever be appropriate, like getting the gun down in the dirt, that's okay. Problem with it is a lot of European rifles are short stocked and or low cheek welds. So that's part of what Julian's doing. He's kind of scrunching up behind the gun. Okay, so you got an idea. The butt in your shoulder, you already know where it belongs, okay? In the pocket, so it's in that format. Then, watch the flash hider on the front of the gun, okay? Watch it when he breathes. Now, lift the gun up off the ground and hold without the bipod. Now breathe. So you can breathe or you can shoot, but you can't do both, okay? So historically, what we're talking about now is some of the armpits down, his body should be relaxed. Adam, pick up, grab his pants leg, lift it straight up, drop it. It should be dead, okay? All it is is an impact zone for your enemy now, so anything you can be, get behind cover would be to your advantage, okay? Then, where your face meets the gun is a lot of what's going to happen to you on the sights so as far as figuring that out. That's why I mentioned about a low cheek weld. If you basically shorter waisted, shorter armed, okay, low cheekbones, high cheekbones, all that shit will make a difference on how it fits. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just real, okay? So then the next thing is, this is in the handout, all right? You'll talk about an NPOA, natural point of aim. This is the body's natural bone structured alignment, okay? What he's gonna do is get behind the rifle, he's gonna line up on his target. When he's on his target, he's gonna close his eyes like I'm gonna have you do. Then with his eyes closed, he's going to breathe in and out three or four times and go back to original where he started from, for example, out of air. Then open your eyes. If you're off your target, your first inclination is to muscle the gun back. That's incorrect. You should rotate so your belt buckle is like on a lazy Susan at a restaurant. You rotate your body to get your NPOA correct. Will I do that in a fight, Clint? I don't know. Will you look at your front side on a pistol in a fight? How much did you practice it? Even if he gets a partial NPOA, it's going to be better than none at all. Fuck I'm going to have you go to your gun. Head. Okay, everybody go to your gun now. Okay. You're going to pass you out when you now. get married to that hot chick. Relax. Be cool. Shooter number one, one round on your target. Shoot when you're ready. Everybody else get ready to go. Do get you get your it? safety oh, off. Yeah. Get your finger <laughs> off the trigger. Shooter one, shoot. Okay? So you know it's on the left side. Okay, armpit high, number two. We good? It looked low, okay, number three. High, hold at the bottom, don't lift your head up. And carefully press the trigger again, boss. Okay, make sure you're not jabbing the trigger. Now, look the sight, line it up, center of the target. Touch the trigger. Don't make it fire, touch it. Touch it. Okay. Go to the wall. Pull it. Number four, yeah. Then carefully press it like you're getting one drop out of an eyedropper. No. Okay. Like okay. Hey, Adam. Blue target. Pick it up. 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 Pick it up.
Here, get him. Yeah, watch the speed, girl. Get him. Whoa, watch out, Jarhead. Get ready. There's the second. How about the next one? No good. Yep, leather neck. Okay, good. Why did you say that of Boyeva? Now, listen. <laughs> We're going to go through. I want you to fire four rounds. There's a reason. All of it is is about you stand behind the gun, follow through, trigger, and trigger reset. In other words, oh sh you mean fundamentals, Clint? Mm -hmm. You mean basics? Like sights and triggery things? Yeah. Number one, four rounds. Three. Get ready, leather neck. Got it. Leather neck. Awesome, finger straight, take the on. Okay, set the rifle down, push yourself up to kneeling, don't leave. Get ready to do it again. This is called team fuckery. Stand by, stand by. Control your breathing now. You should be regulating and blowing air out. Five, four, three. Not bad, except for the miss. Woo! I killed everybody. Get ready. Stand by, stand by. See, it's not so easy when you have to like shoot on demand. Five, four, three. Not bad, one more time. Come on, take out the raggedy ass. Stand by, stand by. Five, four, Oh. Early and late both. Oh, bunch of bag out, round out, clear the gun. Point it at your target after your rifle's clear. Press the trigger. When your shirt is clear, unload it again. And press the trigger. I do not want any whammo surprises tonight. I don't know about you, but I've had a pretty good time today. At your expense, of course. But at least I admit it. Okay. Yes. Okay, stand up, recover your rifle, please. So we just concluded day one, where we really got back into the basics and the fundamentals and all that type of fun stuff. And you probably saw me shooting over here with my homie. We got Ava Flanell. How are you doing? What up? Yeah, say, say hi. Say hey, hi. you know what, Clint? You're a lot more professional when we're recording your video, not my video. What are you talking about? I was pretty professional in your video. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Anyway, if you haven't Anyways. heard of Ava, she's a firearms <laughs> instructor. We've met in passing a couple of times, shot show, NRA, and meet Gundy, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, so check Ava out. And uh, today, what was your take? I think mostly fundamentals, basics. Yeah. Yeah, but it was it was actually really helpful for me because I'm not that experienced with the AK platform. I would yeah. say more with like ARs, uh, definitely handguns. Mm -hmm. AK platform, I've dabbled in, I've shot them, but I haven't done any sort of courses with them. So this was definitely a learning experience for me. And I think covering the basics, uh, especially because we have a, a, a like a variety in our class. We have somebody who has only shot a handgun, or I'm sorry, uh, I don't maybe an AK. I think, you talking about Ben or, uh, or Julian? Yeah, Julian. Julian? Oh, okay. He's yeah, only, yeah. I don't know if he's I think only shot is, five times or an AK five times. I think this is the first time shooting an AK. No, he shot five times okay. an AK. But it could have been that it's... I don't know. Anyways, we do have a variety. We have people right. that are pretty experienced, and then we have people that aren't as experienced. So, but it's a great refresher, though, because something I think that a lot of people, especially if you shoot almost every single day, like you and I almost do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really start to kind of lose touch, like on the fundamentals. Sometimes you just kind of like you go through it so much, and then all of a sudden you got Clint Smith yelling at you, "Hey, dumbass! Hey, how about yeah. you over here? Come over here, and how about you actually focus on your target? How about yeah, you focus yeah, yeah. on your front sight yeah. post? You know, and, and, it's like, yeah. and Clint Morgan yeah. is uh, actually sugarcoating what we've heard. Oh, and yeah. I love the commentary. Like that's the my favorite thing. The Clintisms are phenomenal. It is yeah. right. It's yeah. like so entertaining, but he does it in such a way that you're not really taking offense because he's made fun of me a few times, and I like laugh at it and think it's. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't mind if people make fun of me, but it's just he does it in such a way that he'll like make fun of you, feel like crap, but then like bring you back to like you're like okay, you know, yeah. doesn't totally kill your self esteem, so your day's ruined. Yeah, yeah. It's so very, it's very it's, like strategic. It's, it's a very Marine Corps in him, you know. I mean, it's yeah. the same thing. It's like okay, you got the kill hat. He's over here riding you real hard and telling you how stupid you are. And then all of a sudden, Daddy comes out. Yeah. And he's like It's like okay, now let's yeah. take the time and let's make sure we get. Look Dude, at that. You hit the target. I actually okay, wish cool, you would adopt me. Yes. Do you think I could <laughs> ask him that at dinner? Um. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure you could. I, I bet Heidi would actually be more likely to adopt you. Yeah. But, yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm 36 years old, but At I think point, I could you know, still be adopted. Maybe. Probably. I don't know if it's a thing, but we'll see. <laughs> maybe. I'm going to look into that. Y you do that. So tomorrow, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow because I'm, yeah. like, like today, again, with the basics, the fundamentals, breathing, trigger control, all that type of fun stuff. Tomorrow, though, we got some spiciness happening behind us. We got like all yeah. sorts of like different barricades, un uncomfortable positions, things like that. Because today, like I said, great refresher, but I'm kind of ready to like, let's go. You're right. Let's do some running and gunning. Let's do some stuff that's uh, a little bit more involved. And uh, so Mr. Experience over here. So well, that concludes day number one. Let us know what you're looking for for day number two. Head on over to classicfarms.com for all of your Second Amendment needs, wants, joys. I know that's where she's going to be checking out now. I am actually. I've, I mean, I heard that you guys have all kinds of cool stuff, so I'm definitely going to check it out. Like free guns. Yeah. So. And giveaways too. Yeah, that's the part of the free guys. I didn't even yeah. have to like, you know, like suck up to Sentry Arms. I could have just entered your giveaway and then just like stayed in my, I wouldn't even have to record content. Yeah, Ben, you know? Ben's one of the winners and he's out here shooting. I know, actually Ben's doing pretty well. Yeah, he's doing really well actually. Yeah. So exciting stuff guys. Yeah. So we'll take it off there. God bless you guys. See you soon. Bye.